Dominique, and I'm rocking out with Shot Town. 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 ATT XLA because X marks the spot all day every day and you are watching or listening to depending on what you're doing Shut up Town Urban Radio Thank you Hey, God, Mommy, K7, and I'm rocking with Chi-Town Urban Radio. Swap! Yeah, dick. Yeah, that's right. You just locked into one of the hottest shows in the Midwest. This is Shy Town Urban Radio, baby, where we play the hottest music and discuss the hottest topics. Good. If I have an opinion about something, why should I have to say I'm sorry about it? That's my true opinion. Right, exactly. So. Because you don't agree. We agree to disagree. Nobody does it. No, you never know what's going to happen next. So log on to ChiTownUrbanRadio.com and make sure you follow us on Instagram at ChiTownUrbanRadio. Go ahead and hit us up on that call in number. 312-985-7834. You got all that? Now let's go ahead and bring in our host. Shot Town Urban Radio, please welcome Ebony Kiara and DJ Malone. They ready, baby. Let's go. go. I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Yo. Yo, it's the one and only DJ Malone. And your co-host, Ebony Kiera. Welcome. Man, welcome. How's everybody doing today, man? Now, we got a jam-packed show. Um, sadly, but I will be going to Houston pretty soon. And I say sadly because um, there's going to be some changes to the to the main show. But, Ebony, you, 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 the core ninety, the core ninety four, we're, we're coming for you, baby. We're coming. You know that's that's our child, right? There. That's our second child, our our second home. Um, but we got two. Well, don't worry about him. Don't you ain't got to worry about Side Town. He's always here. We we got Side Town in the building, man. My guy, our graphic designer, um, our everything. I guess well, not our everything. That that sounds kind of kind of odd. But we do got another special guest into the building. Now you guys know. I've been playing a joint, and that mood joint. Ooh, man, that's there's something serious, man. We got Toots all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. How you hey, feeling? I'm good. How are you? Welcome, man. Welcome. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for for finally being here. Yeah, man. this spot is nice too. I'm telling everybody back in the A in, in Florida, <laughs> I'm about to have it flooded every week. We hey, 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 hey we got to get you. Too. You know who she needs to meet? She needs to meet Monty. Cause he lives yeah. in the A. Yes, sir. Yeah, and yeah. Stop. Introduce me to Monty. Yeah, he's he's our camera guy for the events and stuff like that. So, you know, we got to get you guys the link and stuff like that. Sounds so, good. um, now just in case anybody who doesn't know know you, same on them, but they don't. But tell tell them tell my people and my listeners a little bit about you. Well, my name is Toots, aka the Godmother of Hip Hop, aka God Mommy, aka the Teacher. Right, I've been on the scene in Atlanta for quite some time now. Um, CEO of K7 Enterprises LLC um, and director of Toots for Books Pro Literacy Nonprofit Organization. And I say that because I want everybody to know that you know I didn't come way to Chicago to rap. I mean, I rap too, but you know, hip hop is a vehicle. Our um, our whole mission is to promote literacy, which reminds me, DJ, I wanted to give you this on air. Okay. I did bring you that. You can you can go ahead and open it, a little gift. Okay. But. I get, um, oh, I get gifts. Yeah. I get gifts. You never so get nothing. And I, I'm used to, um, like, I've been, do, I've been in the music business. I've been in the music business since I was 16 years old, right? Real, real. And I'm used to people... Um, being shady, you know what I mean, yeah. or being Hollywood. But you were one of the few DJs 
that did what you said you were going to do, how you said you were going to do it, and when you said you were going to do it. Oh, yeah. So with that, I, I, I just appreciate uh, good businessmen. Shout out to you. Yeah. So yeah. shout out to DJ oh, Hey, 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 y'all got to get this, man, because hey. I, 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 I didn't get gifts on my birthday. Well, yeah. I didn't really want yeah, shame I didn't really want. I didn't really want gifts. Shame I didn't want well. Oh, yeah, church for books. That's what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, yes. Yo. Now, that's hey, hard. What, what the back say, DJ? That's hard. It says dedication. Dedication to decrease crime, poverty by increasing, li- what is this, uh, I can't, literacy, literacy and education. Yes. I'm not stupid, I just can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Definitely. I'm not stupid, I just can't see. Definitely, truth oh, for books. Man. Now, this is your, your nonprofit, correct? Yes, sir, that's our nonprofit organization, and what we do is we send kids to college. Okay. Right? So, right. so we had uh, we just had our gala at the Eagles Landing Country Club uh, back in uh, March 9th. Shout out to Eagles Landing, and then I take my shout out back because they suck as a company. Oh man, you oh, know. No. <laughs> but we held it there, oh, and it man. was successful. You feel me? True. But shout out, uh, yeah, whatever. But anywho, we um. We have five students we awarded one thousand dollars scholarships. Now, mind you, we don't get government grants. You okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So this is just shout out to Dominic Rogers Cromarty of the um, New York Giants. Okay. New York Giants. I'm not he, good at football, but he wrote us a nice check. You know what I mean? Real, real. He wrote us a nice check, and um, shout out to Gulfstream and Publix. I don't know if y'all got a Publix here, Publix supermarket. But those were our sponsors, and they wrote nice checks to help us uh, be able to give these kids these scholarships. Real. And basically, what we want to do is we want to decrease crime and poverty, right? So Real. I said I was a teacher because, you know, remember, like, I mean, we don't remember because we weren't alive, but once upon a time in history, Real. right? The worst thing you could do as a black person, the thing you could get killed for was knowing how to read. Mm. So now what I want to do is equip people with as many books and as much literacy uh, adequacy as I possibly can. Real, real. So that's what that's what Tips for Books is about. Okay, okay. And then on the hip hop side, right? On the hip hop side, um, so we've basically been, I mean, just almost every artist you can think of, we, we book artists and then... Um, at one point, what I was doing was booking artists, Droz, 2 Chains, whomever, Real. and then opening for those artists. You know what I mean? Okay. So I take the door because, you know, promoted, promoters could be flaky. So just... I, um, sometimes sometimes you have to take matters into your old hands. Yeah. Because I, me personally, that's why I started... Me and him started doing, you know, promotions by ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because... I know where my heart's at. He knows where his heart's at. And sometimes if you bring in a third person, you just don't know, man. You really don't because, like you said, there is a lot of janky people out here who just take your money or say anything or do anything. And at the end of the day, like I told you, it, it doesn't do anything for anybody. Exactly. So exactly. Um, what I want to do is I want to go to a music break real quick. And uh, about three minutes, we're going to come right back. And we're gonna talk about everything you got going on, man, because you got something, you got something special, bro. So we're gonna talk about everything. The call in number is 312-985-7834. Tell your pastors, your sisters, your brothers. I really don't know if you want to tell your pastors. But tell them anyways. Tell them to call in, man. It's the one and only DJ Malone. Hey, your girl, Ebony Kiara. Man, we're gonna come right back, South Town Number Radio. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, Malone. Damn, DJ Malone went in on that mix. Damn. Now let's get back with the hottest topics. DJ Malone and Ebony Kiara. Remember what you heard it first. Shot Town Urban Radio. Yo, it's the one and only DJ Malone. And your girl Ebony Kiara. How's everybody doing today? Now, we got um we still got my girl Tits into the building. All the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Ooh, hey. man. Shout out Westside Bankhead. So you from Bankhead? Bankhead. Okay, okay. That's what it is. We also got my other guy, man, now. Richie. Richie Rich is in the building. How yo, you feeling, yo, bro? I feel good. I feel great. Welcome, man. Welcome. Um, Happy to be here. Man, we, we I had to get you to come here, bro, because I, I it was like last time I felt like, you know, 
I want to do you justice, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Like, like if, I, if we can't do it good or if we have to half-ass it, I don't want to do it at all. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's do it good this time. You feel oh, me? Yeah, we definitely going to do it good this time. But, Touch, I want to I wanna talk to you about with everything that you got. We talked about your, your nonprofit organization and everything else like that. Um, let me ask you this. Why do they call you the godmother of hip-hop? Well, they call me the godmother. Or, or God Mommy for sure. Like, you can call me God Mommy for sure, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a joke. And I'm serious. Mm-hmm. But anyways, they call me the God Mother <laughs> because, um, you know, I'm, I, I've been, like, the behind-the-scenes person that okay. put a lot of people, um, I won't say on because everybody did their own work, but I gave a lot of people platforms, right? Real, real. And this is no shine. I have this on DVD. Seven Streeter. Y'all know Seven. Yeah. Absolutely. Seven Streeter. Um, came to one of my open mics out here. Wow. And won. Okay. Right? But she was, like, she was no one at Talk up in the mic, baby. Talk up in the mic. Oh, she was no one at that time, right? And she came to my open mic, and she won. Um, the same with uh, D1. Um, the same with... Uh, Y'all, y'all familiar with D1 out of uh, New Orleans, Louisiana? Is, was he with um, affiliated with um, Master P and all them at one point? I'm not sure, but look him up. D E E O N E. Okay. D one. Um, like I said, uh, the whole Grand Hustle family. Shout out to Grand Hustle. They're they're really cool, but they had like new acts um, that needed a platform, that needed a stage, and a lot of those guys I put on stage. Real, real. Um, I paid them, and when no one else would pay them and, and give them a platform, K Seven and Toots w- was doing it. So real. Yeah. Okay. So they, and then you know I got the God Flow. I'm a mommy. God, mommy, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Well, 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 then I guess the the bigger question is, how do you balance that? Like your personal life with your business life. How would you balance something like that? Um, you know, it's a struggle every day because I'm new to. Um, I've only been married like a year and a half. My son is eight months today, and um, I've been running tuts for books for four years. Okay. But the the I guess the thing is um. You just try to do it. I don't know if it's a thing of like trying to balance it, but like as women, we're just we're multifaceted like that, right? Yeah. We can just do that. It just it just happens easier. Okay. Um, for us, I know men focus on one task at a time. Women, we are we're all over the place anyway. Okay. So I, and I have a lot of support. You I was know? just about to say that. I was like, I'm scatterbrained, so I be doing every trying to do everything <laughs> at one time. So yeah, kind of get multitask. Yeah, we multitask anyways. <laughs> Listen, you can paint your nails, watch Housewives, <laughs> you know what I mean? And be on FaceTime, gossip and, and be all on, at the same And be on FaceTime <laughs> at the same time. See, I, 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 that's too much for me. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. But do, but do you think, um, in this day of age, do you think women are coming back? And I mean, not saying that they, they, they never left, but it's sure. the focus has really been on the men. So when you when we hear people like a Drizzy or people like um a Tink or Lil Kim uh Remy Ma uh, Nicki Minaj do you think the the power of women is coming back? Because there there was a big powerful movement that they had in the late nineties and early two thousands. Yeah. Do you think that's coming back around? Yes. Yes. Cool. Ever since Remy Martin came home from prison did six years. Listen, there's no man. Name me one man in hip hop that did six years and came home on top. One man. Pac couldn't have did it. He did eleven months. Ti did a year. They came home on top, but they didn't do six years. There's nobody. I get she, what you're saying. I she get did you. six years in prison. Came home on top. You know, came home and and, and actually came out came harder than she than ever before. Real. She has a kid. She has a husband, and you know, and she um, is like the, it's going to sound far-fetched, but she's like the Beyonce of hip-hop for females because she's the one that has it all. Because they like to tell women you can't have it all, yeah. but she has it all, and she got street cred with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody on my um, live said Gucci. Gucci man? Yeah. You said Gucci name a guy that did. Six years. <laughs> Gucci did three years. He did three he did 50% of what she did. <laughs> and if he had to sit another six years, I don't know if the people would have cared anymore. You know? I don't know. I, I mean, Accurate. I get what you're saying. I, I do I do get what you're saying. Do uh, Hold on. Let me get this caller real quick. Let's get this call. I want to talk to him. Let's, let's get this caller, man. Caller, man. State your name. Where you calling from? 
Carla, are you there? My name is Sade. I'm calling from Atlanta. What's going on, Sade from Atlanta? Nothing much. How are you guys? I'm good, man. Welcome. Welcome to the uh, to the show. Anything you want to say to Miss Touch? Shout out, Touch. I'm listening. Congratulations, hey. and I'm proud of you and everything you're doing. Keep it up. Thank you, Sade from Atlanta. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. I could be phony, but that's really my sister. She at work. Oh. She work at look. She work at Grady Hospital. She's a nurse. And that's why she was so quiet. You know, right, people, right. You know, people say they Grady babies. Yeah. She's the one that put the Grady babies in the world. <laughs> Real. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about the the mood joint. Now, I like. I've been playing this, I and appreciate it. this song, like, I feel like it's very transparent. Mm-hmm. It's very um, unique. And I love the vibes to it. It, it. it has a very mellow vibe. Everybody that comes in here, like, if they're a guest or whatever, and they're just, you know, sitting and I play it, they listen. Richie, you heard it? No, I haven't. He, you heard it. I want you to hear it. Well, we're going to play it again for you. Because oh, I want yeah. you to know. I want he, to know he, he, probably, he probably has heard it. It's just he doesn't know. He don't what, remember. Okay, that's fine. I, I, but um, I'm sorry. What, what were you saying, DJ? But I think that the song um is, is, is very good. So how did you come up with the the metaphor and the methods of the song and, you know, putting it together? I didn't actually. Kyrie did. He came up with the the concept, the the guy that's on the hook. Shout out to Kyrie and uh, the gas song, Gas on the Way. But anyways, he came up with the the hook and uh, he asked me to go into the studio and and lay my verses. And um, at the time when I was recording it, I was going through my own phases in life you know what I mean so it kind of it was one of those things where it gave me a a chance to be like okay well I could have a pity party but that's like that's for Charlie that's for somebody else and I could do drugs and escape but that's for somebody else you know what I mean so um so it starts off pity party for Charlie popping Molly for Bobby I'm blowing Molly when problems had me all like why look you know what I mean so it just goes through um talking about how how life can be overwhelming, how life is a test, but you don't get classes. You just get tests. You know what I mean? Yeah. There are no most people we take like four week classes, then you take an exam. Life is an everyday exam. You feel me? Yeah. And um it's just it was I guess my personal experiences made me realize that you could know everybody, right? Yeah. This is a crazy story. Sis, listen. <laughs> when I first moved to the A, right? I had a homeboy named Amar. T.I.'s first cousin. He used to be like, yeah, Tip, my cousin. I'm like, well, I'm from D.C. We never heard of Tip. This yeah. is like before trap music. You know what mm, I mean? So this is 0-2, 0-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We never heard of Tip in D.C., right? Oh my God. So I'm at Tip House all the time, every day. You know what I mean? Spanking his kids, all type of stuff. <laughs> Just I'm serious, like riding in the Maybach. Tip ain't home now. We having all kind of wild parties at Tip House. But 